Hi, I'm Wally the Water Scientist. Some people call me a mad scientist, but I'm not mad. I just love science. Today, we're going to learn how to measure rainfall by making our own rain gauge. People have been using rain gauges for thousands of years and they tell us how much rain has fallen over a period of time. Knowing how much rain we've had is important for things like letting farmers know when it's time to plant or harvest their crops. For understanding weather patterns. For knowing when we might have a drought, which is when there is not enough rain. Or even if there's going to be a flood, which is when there's too much rain. Let's make our own rain gauge and then we can record rainfall too. To help, I've invited along my friend Christy from Golden Valley Water. Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to make your own rain gauge. Wally, what bits and pieces are we going to need for our rain gauge experiment? Well Christy, we will need an empty plastic bottle, scissors, a ruler, and a permanent marker. Okay guys, our first step is to cut the top off the bottle. Now this can be a bit dangerous, so make sure you ask an adult to do this step for you. If you don't have a bottle, you can use something like a jar instead. We then take our ruler and permanent marker and make a mark for every centimetre. And then we can number each of these marks. We then take the top part of our bottle, turn it upside down, make sure the lid's removed so that water can go through, and we sit it into our bottle. So that acts like a funnel. How's it looking, Wally? That looks great, Christy. I think it's ready to go. When you place your rain gauge outside, make sure you pick a spot where there's nothing above it, just the sky. No trees or shelters, as this might block the rain. I've pushed our rain gauge into the dirt a little bit to make sure it doesn't blow over. Okay, now a couple of days have gone past. In that time, Wally has made us a chart for recording our daily rainfall. So on Monday, we actually didn't have any rain. So I popped up a sun so that we know that that day was a sunny day and zero centimetres. But yesterday was Tuesday and yesterday it rained. So let's have a look at how much rain we actually got. So if we look at our numbers here. It looks like we had two centimetres of rain. So I'm gonna pop up a rainy cloud and our two centimetres. So now that we've got that recorded, we need to empty out our rain gauge for tomorrow in case it rains again. I like to pour the water out onto some plants so that we don't waste it. And now it's ready to pop our funnel back in and put it back in the garden and see what happens for the rest of the week. There we go, we've made our own rain gauge. We hope you enjoyed today's science experiment Make sure you have a go at home. Bye. See you next time.